Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. In this video I'm going to show you how to clean silver without ruining it. Now, if you're looking to buy and sell silver, as a dealer you need to clean it safely. Um, <coughs> clean silver as little as you can because it's very soft metal and the more you clean it, the more you wear it, wear it away. You can even rub the hallmarks off it. If you don't know what you're doing, I suggest you don't even clean your silver if you want to sell it. Just literally sell it as it is and let the uh, dealers um, clean it themselves. A lot of dealers won't care whether it's clean or dirty. They will simply weigh it, they look at the hallmarks, they look who made it. Um, and they'll clean it themselves. They'd rather that than the alternative. Here it is a um, silver plate, like EPNS. Um, little wine cooler. Um, now I purchased this at a car boot sale the other day. Now I'm going to give you a close up in a few minutes of this and what somebody's done is um, I don't know if you know in like Tesco's and Asda's you can buy brass or, or silver wadding. It's like a material you just tear it apart and you, you use it uh, on the front. It's quite a coarse abrasive material and it scratches the silver to hell and back. And I'm going to show you that now in just a minute. Now what I actually use is a Goddard's silver cream with a very soft sponge. Um, I put the cream on, lather it up with a sponge, give it a rub and then I usually gently wash the, uh, the item then afterwards in soapy water with just normal fairy liquid and I use the same sponge so that I haven't got nothing coarse on the silver. Um, but for t the purpose of today's video, I'm going to use the polish, uh, the the cream and the very soft sponge, polish an area for you, and then just give it a wipe over with a damp um, towel, just so you can see the difference. I don't want to be taking it out to the sink and washing it for filming a few. Here we have a 19th century solid silver samovar or uh, tiern, little ivory knout there. Um, Beautifully embossed, high-end Victoriana. Um, it's about six kilos of silver uh, in beautiful condition. This piece here is silver plate. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of difference um, with cleaning. You clean it exactly the same. You don't want to ruin silver or silver plate. You use something too coarse on silver plate and it'll start showing the nickel or the brass underneath. Uh, as opposed to the um, silver, you clean it often enough, you can put holes in the silver in the thin points. So I'll, um, I'm going to give you a little close-up now. First of all, showing you a close-up of the wine cooler here. Uh, showing you all the abrasive scratching. Um, I didn't do that, I bought it like that. Then I'm going to pick a spot on the um, tea urn here, and I'm going to just clean it in front of you on the film. So I hope you find it interesting guys, but remember, if you don't know what you're doing and you just want to sell your silver, you don't want to display it, don't clean it, you'll get the same money for it dirty or clean. The only reason you want to clean your silver is if you want to display it. Now you can buy um, metal plates uh, that you put into a solution and you put your jewellery or your knives, your forks, wherever you collect into the water uh, of the solution and he uses um, chemical reaction to clean the uh, pieces. I've used them before, but to be honest, you know, I haven't got patience to wait for all that. Um, so it's a Goddard's silver pad. It's a foaming silver polish. You can buy it Amazon, eBay. A lot of good jewelers do it. Um, for jewelry, you can you can get the dips. Um, in particular, you have a, a tub. You take the top off pull the basket out, put the jewellery in, put it in. Um, but I'll do that in another film. Because um, what I tend to do then is I'll leave a soak in the dip for the minute or so, pull it out, and I'll be there with a tooth brush, giving it a clean with a bit of soapy water yet again. Um, but anyway, I'll, get, I'll do that another time. I'm going to get back to the video we're on now. Um, I'll give you the close-ups, and then you can uh, see me uh, clean the tea in. Hope you enjoy guys. Okay then guys, here we go. I'm going to try and zoom in now. Um, you can see all this lines across here is abrasive scratching. You can see it all over it. 
That is what you don't want. Now, if this was solid silver, I would have to take this to a specialist to have it polished smooth and have all these scratches taken out. That is the one thing you don't want to uh, happen to your silver. Now, once I've cleaned a little area this um, tea urn, what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll give you a close-up and you'll see this, none of this scratching. So, we'll clean up the tea urn now and you'll see the difference. Okay then guys, so the area I'm going to do now is the little area directly above the uh, the tap. So, your, my polish or my cream is quite wet and foams up quite well. You want to get a nice good bit on the uh, sponge, um, that's the uh, paste, and then literally just work it in, it doesn't take long really doesn't and you'll see the difference between the uh, silver now next to this area that I've cleaned compared to this area and you can see I'm putting no pressure on the sponge whatsoever and then the paste just do its thing I don't want to damage the silver in any way shape or form I'll do uh, I do videos on uh, my car boot sale finds and I'll, uh, I also do specialist videos um, showing some of my better buys or my better items. This is one that I will do a video on for you. I'll uh, give you all the details on the piece and um, show you everything you want to see. Um, and I'll do that one again for you. So, literally just wiping it off with some very soft kitchen towel. And there we have it, it's cleaned as quick as that. Um, I'll give you some close-ups and you can take a look yourself, guys. Okay, this is the area I've just cleaned. There's the piece I've cleaned. And there's the piece I bought with, cleaned with wadding. You can clearly see the difference. And you can saw so how uh, quick I uh, polished a piece up. This was the colour of it before to now. It took seconds to do, guys. There you have it. Um, that is how I clean my silver. Um, this uh, piece here is, has been packed away for quite some time, hence the condition on it. I'm going to uh, give it a clean now I've started, I'll have to clean the whole thing. Uh, a bit of OCD will kick in now, I can't just pack it away with one clean spot. Um, I wouldn't leave it out, uh, sitting in my living room is too much silver. Um, the insurance company would kill me. But, there you have it. Um, as I've said, if you don't know what you're doing, don't clean your silver. Um, if you have to clean your silver, go down a line, as I've already said, with the electrolysis plates um, or a very soft, gentle pad and cream or another method that doesn't use them abrasive scouring cloths because you will either rub away the hallmarks, put holes in your silver or scratch it to hell and ruin it. Um, and the last thing you want is to devalue an antique bit of silver because you don't know how to clean it, guys. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that. Hope you've uh, found the video interesting and I hope I have that managed to help you. If I did, I would love um, a like and a share, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. We've got coming up to about 120 videos now. Um, and we hit our 10,000 viewers uh, this week, so I'd like to say thank you very much for that. Um, you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena, we're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance, where we sell a lot of our things, and we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching guys, I'll say bye for now.